Good afternoon, Recon here with TechOut. So this is the same iPhone 6 Plus that I replaced the 5 GHz Wi-Fi antenna on, um, and I am happy to report that the Wi-Fi is now very strong and working. Um, this was a water damage phone, so we do have some other issues with it um, that I'm still trying to resolve. Um, mainly the fact is we're not getting LTE. Um, we had no service whatsoever to begin with. Um, it wasn't picking anything up. Um, I did reflow um, one of the RF chips on the back of the logic board and right now we're getting a very, it shows full bars but when the phone goes to sleep it does get very weak um, and sometimes even drop signal completely. So we have a very weak um, 1x signal on Verizon. We're not getting any GSM signal and we're not getting any LTE whatsoever. So I'm unsure of what is going on there. Um, a common issue with these phones is that the baseband uh, CPU chips um, come desoldered or start to fail. Um, I don't think that is our issue with this phone because we still do have an IMEI, we still do have our modem firmware, and we do get a signal. Um, so if there was something wrong with the baseband CPU, we, we likely wouldn't have a signal or IMEI. But as you can see, the signal is, is dropping in and out right here. I don't know if you can see the bars, but they'll drop to zero and then go back up. Um, so that's dropping in and out. Everything else on the phone is working. Um, I did have to repair the home button cable because Touch ID was not working. That is fixed. It was just the cable that runs under the LCD backplate and plugs in on the um, top up here. The cable, the connector had gone bad just from taking the screen on and off. Um, so that is fixed once that was replaced. Um, again, I did replace the 5 gigahertz antenna. You saw me take that out. I replaced that and I replaced the battery. Um, our original battery, um, that happened taking it out. The battery actually wasn't damaged physically, um, but it looks like when water got into the phone it shorted the battery out um, because it is reading 0.0, .0 volts, so we have no life in it whatsoever. Um, but the main extent of the water damage is around this area right here, which on the back side of the board, um, if I took this out and flipped it over, that's where all your RF um, ICs are soldered onto the board. And it looks like we have some corrosion around that area under the, um, under the EMI shield. So I need to clean that up some more. I'm going to try to clean those chips up best I can. Um, i got to get some more rubbing alcohol. I'm going to get like the highest... Um, highest strength rubbing alcohol that I can, either 90% or pure rubbing alcohol, clean that up and see if that resolves our signal issue. Um, because other than that, this phone is working just fine. Um, it's in pretty good condition. It does have some, some scratching and stuff down here on the bottom, but it's not iCloud locked or anything like that. And everything else works just fine. Um, the camera is working. Both cameras are working. Everything like that is working just fine. Um, the speakers work, all the audio is working, so really there's nothing else wrong with this phone other than the fact that we can't get a, um, a good signal or an LTE signal right now. Um, so I really want to get that fixed and get this sold. Battery's charging great, no issues with charging USB or anything like that. Um, and the phone just runs good, so it did, uh, I brought it back to life, it was completely dead when I got it, no power, um, didn't boot up anything like that, battery was bad. Um, and a couple other issues, but after replacing those parts, it's back to life. Um, so now just trying to resolve the signal issues. If you guys have any uh, suggestions on what I should try, a lot of people are saying baseband, I, uh, baseband CPU. I don't think it's that, um, just because that is on the top of the board right here, and I really have no evidence of water damage up on the top here. Um, I do have some watermarks and some rusty screws around this area, but that's really the extent of the water damage. The whole phone wasn't like flooded or anything like that. Um, it was just the left or, or the right side right here. I think it entered probably into the SIM card tray. Um, and that's another thing. Yes, the SIM card tray is working just fine. The SIM reader is working just fine. Um, no issues there. It recognizes all the SIM cards I put in it. It is just a signal issue. This has been Colin with Tech Out. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.